Hey everybody, and welcome to Flashback Games, I'm Russ, and today we're playing Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I, le I left out the opening intro, and we're just going to jump straight into the naming character screen and character selection screen, like, right as I sort of make my character. Uh, how about... I've never tried this one before. <laughs> the same as my amp guard uh, character name. Roland and Morrowind. That's so cool. I wonder if I should... I don't know. Huh. Okay, so I gotta go with him. W and S to move. We all know that part. Jube. Better okay. do what they say. Yeah, better do what he say. Okay, bye Jube. Nice hammocks. I'm on a boat. Oh boy. I haven't even made my character appearance yet. I'm already walking. Ooh, stuff. Nice. <laughs> I want stuff. Can I just steal stuff? Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. It's, I can be civil, bro. What? I'm right here. Okay. Now, Whoa. He's like, get up on deck now. Hatch to see the neen. Oh, hey. All right, I'm here. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Oh, okay. The, the consensus office. Okay, I got that. Ooh, pretty clouds. Let's go. Oh. Wow, that's nice graphics. Pretty water. I I should probably pay attention to where I'm going. I think it's through here. Let's go. Move it along. We finally arrived. Our records don't show Oh, my race and appearance. Oh gosh, the Breton looks so sad. Oh, Kajit. Nord, Orc, Orc is pretty boss, Redguard, Wood Elf. Hmm. Alchemy, Alteration, Conjuration, Illusion, Mysticism, and Restoration. Oh man, those are so cool for magical skills. I would love to just practice magic. That way I could see all the different spells on Morrowind way back in the day. I wonder if they're as good as the ones on Oblivion. Probably, maybe even better. I'm playing mainly because one of my friends, um, he challenged me to actually play oh, Morrowind instead of Oblivion. I started out with Oblivion, like, as as an Elder Scrolls fan. That's the first game I picked up, and I swear by it. He swears by Morrowind because when, he, when Oblivion came around, they changed a lot of things and stopped you from... It stopped you from, like doing a lot of broken stuff that was really cool in um in Morrowind a Breton I do like those magical abilities <laughs> he's arrogant pompous face that's a good one let's see I kinda like that's a good one he's kinda pompous I wish I could get like maybe that one with a different hair color or maybe a different one with a different hair color huh yeah that one with a different hair color would be cool I used to have a ponytail <laughs> but I wasn't I was, I was never a blonde <laughs> uh, I guess we'll go with that I, I like that that's my favorite hairstyle I just wish I could change the color Special skills is Magicka bonus, Fortify maximum Magicka, 0.5%. Resist Magicka, 50%, that's awesome. Dragon skin, shield, 50 points for 60 seconds on, on self, that's good. So basically I want to focus mainly on alchemy. Identify, identify as magical properties in mundane substances. Substances are consumed directly or prepared as potions to provide long-lasting benefits like healing, Curing disease, water walking, magical shielding, and fortifying bodily attributes. Alteration. 
Students of the College of Alteration manipulate the physical world and its natural properties. Alteration effects include water breathing and walking, jumping, levitating, burdening, opening and locking, and creating shield barriers against physical damage. Conjuration. The spell effects of the College of Conjuration include the mental domination of mundane and magical creatures. Subo summonation. Ooh, summonation. <laughs> Devastation. Oh, of otherworldly weapons and armor. And summonation of Daedric or undead servants and powers of to serve and protect the caster. Illusion. Spell effects of the College of Illusion alter the perceptions and thoughts of living out the subjects. Illusion effects blind, illuminate, paralyze, and silence calm or enrage, charm, distract, and camouflage the render invisible. That's, you know, I was really sad when they took, like, I think it was mysticism. Yeah, they took mysticism out of Skyrim. I was sad. I liked mysticism. The spells of College of Mysticism shape and focus otherworldly forces to bind souls and gems or teleport the caster's body to m or manipulate the world with telekinesis or absorb or reflect magical energies or sense unseen objects at, at a distance. Technically they didn't really take the spells out, they took mysticism away and combined it with illusion I think. Restoration Adapts to the College of Restoration, heal, restore, and fortify the body's attributes and abilities, cure disease, and protect it from other maligned influences. Restoration spells can also augment or absorb strength, endurance, intelligence, agility, and other bodily attributes. I'm sorry if I'm reading really fast, it's just this this game has a lot of reading in it, and luckily I reading is my best subject in school, so I figure I'll put on my best voice. Put on my uh, best little announcer voice and and really read and give it some feel as to what exactly we're we're getting into. So mainly from the bonuses here, I want to focus on conjuration, mysticism, and restoration, which are pretty much like my favorites. Sounds great to me. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. Darn right, I foot right in. I'll I'll, I'll foot right in. Yep, I'll foot right in. Yep, just foot first. I will foot right in. <laughs> Blast it. I can't edit that out either. It's too hilarious. Later, dude. Head on in. Yeah. Later. Head on in. Okay, whatever. Look at you. Ah, yes. You're a cool looking dude. You. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Answer his questions, generates a class, give him the info, pick from a class list, or fill out forms yourself, create a custom class. I always did like those, like, um, I guess it's like, uh, it's like a personal, it's like an online personality test, so I guess I'll answer questions. Uh oh. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. It crashed, didn't it? On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. What do you do? On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal. I'm, I'm rereading it because I don't know if you could hear his voice. It's leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. Use herbs from your pack to put it to sleep. Draw your dagger mercifully, ending its life with a single thrust. Do not interfere in the natural evolution of events, but rather take the opportunity to learn more about a strange animal that you have never seen before. Uh, now see, its leg is trapped in a hunter's claw snare, so that's already not natural, because a hunter was after it. So I'm going to use herbs from my pack and put it to sleep. One summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. What would you rather do? One summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. Work in the forge with him, cast, casting iron for, for a new plow. Okay. Gather herbs for your mother who is preparing dinner. 
Ouch! <laughs> Go catch fish at the stream using a net and line. So I guess these are the chores and it's like which one would you choose to do? Or do first? Gather herbs. I like to gather herbs. I've always been more interested about herbs. Because that's like iron smithing and this is like Go catch fish for the stream at the stream using a net and line. I'm gonna go with the sissy path and catch and gather herbs. <laughs> Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing <laughs> nickname, and even worse, likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. What do you do? Oh, what do I do? Make him make up an even more embarrassing nickname for him and use it constantly until he learns his lesson. Beat up your cousin and tell him that he never calls you that nickname again. You will bloody him worse this time. Just standard bully response. Make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honor instead of something humiliating. I've actually done that in real life, so I'm going to do that. I, I, I hate these questions. They're revealing too much about the actual person. Uh, I've done that one before, too. Okay. There is a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. Ooh. They've been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth. Or King, I have nothing to fear from a telepath. It is important to have a method of finding assassins and spies before it is too late. Hmm. <sighs> Hmm, I think, oh boy, oh boy, telepaths, man, I'm going to say, well, man, these are tough questions, this is like, wow, this is terrible, opinion. Mm. I'm gonna go. It's a terrible practice. I, 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 the sanctity of one's mind is a is a sacred place. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake a shopkeeper has given you too much money back in exchange for one of the items. What do you do? After your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy, after you finish, you find that you have made a mistake. The shopkeeper is giving you too much money back in exchange for one of the items. Pocket the extra money, knowing that the shopkeepers in general tend to overcharge customers anyway. Decide to put the extra money to good use and purchase items that would help your family. Return to the store and give the shopkeeper his hard-earned money, explaining to him the mistake. If I knew for a fact that it was a mistake, and I definitely got too much money, I usually always return it because I... <laughs> Sadly enough, I think it's like a, a, a trap. Like I always figure, oh no, he's testing me. So and so is testing me. This is a test. I always assume it's a test. While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. Uh, I'm gonna go on ahead and reread that. The music is overpowering him. I wish I could mute it I'll have to save I'll have to fix that in the settings later uh, you know and turn the music down because it's probably I don't think I can have it you know, on anyway while in the marketplace you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble even if it, even as he does so the noble notices and calls for the city guards in his haste to get away the thief drops the purse near you surprisingly no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet Pick up the bag and signal to the guard, knowing that the only honorable thing to do is return the money to its rightful owner. Leave the bag there, knowing that it is better not to get involved. Pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing that the extra windfall will help your family in times of trouble. I'm probably going to leave the bag there. I think my character would do that. Like, let's say for example you pick up the bag and try to get involved. Um, the thief drops the, let's see, the noble notices and calls for the sea guards. It doesn't say that the guards are chasing the thief already. It says that the thief ran away. If the guards didn't know the thief was the thief running away and you pick up the bag, the guards might think you're the thief. You don't just want to, that's literally you being left holding the bag. Like, 
Hey, sir, this is your thief! So, leave the bag. Just step your away. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you, in return for a future favor of his choosing. Oh, what Lord, have mercy. No more questions, please. I'm running out of time. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe. Cleaning the stables on the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you in return for a future favor of his choosing. Wow, if that isn't Tom Sawyer, like, all day. Accept his offer, reasoning that as long as, he, as long as the stables are cleaned, it matters not who does the cleaning. Decline his offer, knowing that your father expects you to do the work and it is better not to be in debt. Ask him to help you, knowing that two people can do the job faster than one. Agree to help him with one task of his choosing in the future. I like um, the third option, because if he's helping you, you can keep an eye on him to make sure that the job does get done. Because, I mean, yeah, he's a close personal friend, probably. But, you know, let's say he gets called to do something else, or if he just decides to be lazy and doesn't want to do the chore, your father might come home and be like, okay, did the stables get clean, kid? And you'd be like, yeah, sure, they totally got clean. He opens up the barn doors and it's like, no, no one did anything. And you realize that your friend ran off and basically just left you holding the bag. And you're like, I, I, I did clean it, I, I swear. Uh, ninjas came in suddenly and uncleaned it. So I'd pick the third option and ask him to help me. Uh, help him with the task of choosing in the future, yep. Your mother asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls towards her. What do you do? Ah! Push her in the way of the pipe and hope that it finish the job, finishes the job. Ah, no, but me and my mother don't really get along. But this isn't about me. This is about my character. Push your mother out of the way. Position yourself between the pipe and your mother. Grab the hot pipe and try to push it away. Mmm. -hmm. I'm going to go with push my mother out of the way. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands the sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. Dang. Do do? Calm down, Mr. Monk. Beat you and take it. Goodness. I must be answering wrong, because this is taking a lot of questions. I must be uh, contradictory. Give him the sweet roll now, without argument, knowing that later this afternoon you will have all your friends with you and can come back and take whatever he owes you. <laughs> Drop the sweet roll and step on it, then get ready for the fight. Dang! Boss! Act like you're going to give him the sweet roll, but at the last minute, throw it in the air, hoping that they'll pay attention to it long enough for you to get a shot in on the leader. Ah. Uh, like. I wouldn't honestly do any of those. I'm... Jesus. Like, all of those are bad answers. I guess... Hmm. Don't fight multiple people by yourself. I guess you just use your friends with you and can come back and take whatever he owes you. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't necessarily say that, you know, you and your friends are going to beat him up. Maybe you just have a little bit more support. Entering town, you find that you are witness to a very well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The Not to me. The crowd behind him seems very angry. Oh, God. What do you do? Frankenstein's getting chased by a crowd. The crowd behind him seems very angry. Stand aside and allow the man to mob to pass, realizing that it's probably best not to get involved. Rush to the man's aid immediately, despite your lack of knowledge of the circumstances. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Rush to the town's aid immediately, despite your lack of knowledge of the circumstances. <laughs> I'm gonna go with stand aside. I, I gotta have a little bit more information. This guy might be a predator. <laughs> the town people might be ready to kill. Or, or the other way around. The guy might be an axe murderer and the town people might be trying to lynch him. I don't know. Your personality and past reflect a mage! Yeah! Suck it! Yes! That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? 
Sweet Jiminy Christmas, the mage. Just pick the mage. The apprentice, fortify magic, uh, maximum magic of 1.5, intelligence, weakness to magic of 50%. I'm already strong against magic of 50% because of my uh, ability, so I don't want to cancel that out. Alternok, spell absorption, 50 points, fortify maximum magicka, stunted magicka. Now I hate that one. I think that means you can't absorb. Like, um, ooh, warm, wa, womb, burn, womb burn. I think that means you regenerate Magicka very, very slowly, or not at all. I don't like that one. Fortify Personality, Fortify Endurance, Weakness to Fire, very bad. Restore Health, 2 points for 30 seconds on self, but ignore The Lover, Paralyzed for 60 seconds on target, Fortify Fatigue, Fortify Maximum Magicka. Now see, I like that one. It's not necessarily very fancy, but it makes sense because the may it matches my class it's probably best for me but just for the sake of argument the ritual now i do like this one turn undead 100 points for 30 seconds on target blessed touch turn undead 100 points for 30 seconds on touch turn undead 100 points for 30 seconds on target blessed touch blessed word so that one's a throw you throw that one out and then bless touch, turn on dead 100 points for 30 seconds on touch. This one's a touch magic. Powers, Mars gift, restore health, 100 points on self. I do love that, because you know, I never know when I might be up against the undead. And I'll probably level up my own magicka pretty high on my own. The serpent allows me to poison a target. Shadow, I hide myself. Let's go back to poison, 3 points on 30 seconds on touch, damage health, 1 point for 30 seconds on self. The shadow, invisibility for 60 seconds on self. Steed, Fortify Speed, 25%, or 25 points. Thief, Sanctuary, 10 points. The Tower, Deter Detect Animal, 200 feet for 60 seconds on self. Detect, enchant detect Enchantment, 200 feet for 60 seconds on self. That's new to me. I don't know how you would detect an enchantment. Detect Key, 200 feet for 60 seconds on self. Wow! That's pretty cool. Beggar's Nose. <laughs> I love the name of that. Powers, Towers Key. Open 50 points on touch. So it's like a key. It's like your, key. your hand is a key. Fortify Attack 10 points. I'm going to go with the Ritual. That is just boss. You know, being strong against the undead. You know, never having to worry about them. It says turn. Turn means to scare. Like you scare them away. I wish it was command. Because command turns them to your side. But turn is good too. And then rest the restore health is really nice as well until I get some more powerful healing spells. Interesting. Now before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Name Roland. Race Britain. Class Mage. Sign Ritual. Health Magica. Fa mag health Magica. Fatigue. Strength. Intelligence. Willpower. Agility. Speed. Personality and endurance and luck. And I'll read those later on, probably in the next episode. I just wanted to try to, um, I just wanted to try to wrap it up here since it's been going on for so long, and I'll read those uh, probably in episode two. Let's see, minor skills. Okay, major skills. I remember those from the mage discipline. Minor. Actually, the major skills aren't from the mage discipline. The major skills are determined. They're enhanced by the class, but the their original start point is determined base. like you get the skills based on your race and the, the class you have enhances them minor skills enchantment alchemy unarmored Ooh, skill lets one avoid or reduce injury during combat while night evading deflecting or absorbing blows those versed in the skill are better defended wearing no armor at all than they are wearing armor wow i hope that works i hope that works out for me short blade conjuration Ooh, Conjuration is it's a minor skill, but it has a lot of points in it because of my race, which is awesome. Block armor, medium armor, heavy armor, blunt weapon, long blade, axe, spear, security, sneaks, athletics. So I will doing I, I will be doing like magic constantly. Abilities, magicka bonus, magicka resist, powers, dragon skin, and Mara's gift. Spells. Hearth heal. Restore twenty to eighty points on self. Shield, five points for thirty seconds on self, water walking. Bound Dagger, 
Summon Ancestral Ghost, Fire Bite, Fire Damage 15 points, 30 seconds without Chameleon, 10 points on self, Sanctuary 10 points, Detect Creature, Blessed Wound, Blessed Touch, that's good, so I start out with a lot of good starting spells, like beginner spells that I can learn the magic of classes from. You now have a stats menu where you can always view your information. Well, thank you. Right-clicking allows you to use them. Right-click again to close them. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. All right. Read your papers by pressing the space bar. While looking at them, then select Take to pick them up. All right. Since we're done making our character, our appearance, our class, and everything, I'm going to go on ahead and end it here. Uh, and next next episode, I'll run out into the town and start questing and start asking people about information, learn about Marwin, learn about my class and me and all the stuff we can do. It'll be awesome. This is it's been a good episode. It's basically like a starting introduction to the area. Shut up. A starting introduction introduction to my character. Thank goodness I listened to him because I almost forgot these. Ah, oh, hey, look, it's my release papers. It's all the stuff about me. I just, I want to, you know, finish this before, the like, anything crashes. You now have an inventory menu where you can see, uh, bleh. You now have an inventory menu where you can see what you are carrying. Like all menus, right-click to use your new menu. You can click and move objects from the world to your inventory. I don't want to do that because that is stealing and they will kill me. <laughs> At least not yet. Alright then folks, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you watching, have fun in the next one. Bye!